So when they start swimming, I'm going to, uh, when the babies, they're in there, the little black dots that you see moving up and down, they're, they're not free swimming yet. But when they do start swimming freely, I'm going to, uh, remove the mothers, because I can hand feed them quite easier <laughs> than, you know, allowing them to move them around. Plus, they do this thing that once the babies start free swimming, they like to pick off the weak. Uh, I'm not for that. So, uh, I like, uh, don't believe in Darwinism. I believe in giving every every animal a choice and a chance. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to let, uh, them fend for themselves and uh, feed them and see what grows up to what. So, I mean, that's what's happening. Uh, these the convicts are covered with paper so that the rest of them can get a little bit of peace uh, from me. If they see me, they tend to alter their uh, mating behavior. And right now I'm trying to get the pink convicts to breed that guy to breed with the regular black females so I can get uh, more pinks. See the black female back there? She's all near the filter. But they've been beating each other up and I, I don't want them to beat each other up and I want them to actually just be more concentrated on breeding. So they're covered. The angelfish <laughs> are covered also. These are all maps for directions to things I was going to. I covered it so that they can uh, get in the mood. Um, but periodically be able to look in on them. And that's what's up. If I open this now, I'll, you can, I'm sure that there's some in the pods like there. See? So they're in, they're in the um, spawning mood, it's just that uh, they need privacy. So that's what's up.